Welcome to Michelle's Opinions. On this episode of Michelle's Opinions, I'm going to share the message I received last night on 9-12-19. And this has to do with our perspectives and about trees. So let's get to it. With this uptick of energies that we're feeling, I don't know about you guys, but my energy levels have been off the charts. My sleeping patterns are also in just crazy patterns. It's really hard to schedule anything when everything is in such flux. Well, I received a message last night and this also goes along with something that I have personally experienced. So when we're discussing this message, it's not that I have not already experienced this for myself. It's just I got the clarity on it in dream time um, on exactly what it means and where we're heading along with what is going on with us on a lot of our old ways of doing things are fading away and the new way of going about things even to our diet and our taste buds and why they're changing it's all it's our perspectives are changing our taste buds are changing our bodies are changing so much is going on so you know, I'm, I'm going to be showing you an a, array of beautiful trees. And the reason for that is because it goes along with the dream message that I was given last night, which is, like I said, affirmations. I always look for affirmations before I will put it out uh, for everybody to listen to even though I've experienced it and I always want everybody to share what they experience but this is an affirmation of what I have experienced personally myself many people talk about diet and they talk about being vegan or vegetarian well in the message I received last night it was about plant life and sentient plant life. Now, when we pull certain vegetables, we actually kill the entire plant. I don't know how many of us really think about that. We think if we're eating our vegetables that we are eating proper in balance of what we're actually needing. What if I was to tell you that there is sustenance here that we are supposed to eat for pleasure for energy for whatever the purpose is that you desire and it's been here all along that will sustain us in tip-top shape without having to worry about that ugly word diet Anybody that knows that as soon as you say the word diet, that's a negative word. And the perspective that you have is that you're going to have to go without. Well, I'm going to tell you here, but you do not have to go without. You're able to eat whatever it is that you want. As long as your perspective on what you're eating is that it is for pleasure and that you're not putting that intention behind it that if I eat this, I'm going to gain weight. Or if I eat this, it's going to rot my teeth. Because it's going to do exactly what your perspective is telling you that it's going to do. Because you're putting the intentions in behind it. I was shown trees all kinds of trees just miles and miles of fruit bearing trees so 
beautiful. Oh, if, if I could transport you into the dream with me so you can see what I saw as I was getting this message, you would be in awe of the splendor and the beauty that I was able to see when I received this message. It's absolutely wonderful. And yes, that is a part of the message is our perspective and our intentions on when we're eating, what are we thinking? And as we're thinking, we are creating. And as we are creating, then it is becoming and it is making action and taking action. Energy's neutral, I've said that many times, but realize that the intentions you put behind the energy will manifest. And we are at such an uptick of energy and everything that is coming into fruition with our creation. It's just, it's off the charts. What was plainly said to me was when we eat fruit from a fruit tree and tomatoes are actually a fruit because when you have a tomato plant even though we call it a plant and the tomatoes are pulled when they become ripened the tomato plant does not die it will produce tomatoes year in and year out and it brings back it comes back every single year same with fruit trees they have seed they bear you know they can you can make more plants and plant more trees with them and they will yield the fruit and it does not kill the tree it actually lightens the load off the tree as you enjoy the sustenance and the pleasure of the different fruits that are coming from each tree. So let's say you're not, you don't really like oranges. Well, there's apple trees or cherry trees or peach trees and plum trees. I saw every single type of fruit bearing tree that just they went on for miles and miles. And it was like a rainbow of all different types of fruit. Now, I'm not telling you that only eat fruit. No, that's not what I got from the message. I do believe that that's the direction that we're heading in, is that we will only need fruit and light as the energy is going to sustain us that is coming in through the light as we are connecting ourselves back to source, to God Almighty, and you know, going through this refinement process, but the fruit trees do not die after you pluck the fruit. So, you know, there's so many people that just think that they have to eat this or they have to eat that or can't have this or, you know, really we need to change the perspective of how we think. Let it resonate down into our heart and then become the alchemists that we all are. Now, fruit is delicious and packed with all kinds of vitamins and everything that we need is within that fruit. And like I said, the tree lives. It does not harm the tree for you to pluck the fruit and enjoy it. Where many vegetables, when you pull them, you have just killed that plant. It is just given its life for you so you could have sustenance. And I'm not saying don't eat meat, don't eat, you know, this, this is not about what you cannot have. This is about perspective, saying, you know, knowing, it's an inner knowing that you can have whatever it is that your taste buds want, whatever you are craving, Whatever you desire is yours and you can have it and enjoy it. Just make sure that you've got the right intentions and also the gratitude for if a plant gave up its life.
for you to have some sustenance. Be grateful for it. Have gratitude in your heart. With showing gratitude for everything that we receive, we're already becoming an alchemist because we're changing the intention and the perspective that we are putting out with the energy and the plasma. Plasma is another form of energy or another word for energy. We are surrounded by it. We are energy. And as we're going and refining ourselves and all of these gifts, abilities, and things are coming back online and our DNA is being activated, no matter where you're at on your journey, on your path, you are exactly where you need to be at this very moment and you will get to the destination that you are seeking. It is all, all the power, everything is within you. So when you come across somebody, they say, well, I am vegan. And you know, a lot of times they'll get um, like, it'll be an ego thing that, that comes up within them or I am vegetarian, you know, I won't hurt an animal. Well, they're killing plants. So any sentient, anything that is sentient, you know, is the same. We've got to stop, you know, saying one is better than the other. We need to be grateful and show gratitude for both because both have given their life, whether it be vegetarian, vegan, or if you're carnivore. But remember that your perspective on what you're thinking is what the outcome will be. So eat whatever it is that your taste buds and that whatever it is that you enjoy and enjoy it. Do not worry about what it's going to have some kind of outcome these are the programs that we need to break away from. Things that have been drilled into our heads since we were, you know, we taught in school with the, you know, what well, we had the four food groups, then we went to the food pyramid and all these different things. Just don't worry about any of that. Realize that fruit trees are, from what I got from the message, is where we're going to be. Uh, you know, when we get to where we're getting to, we will be enjoying the sustenance from fruit trees without harming the tree, actually giving the tree relief of the weight off its branches. So, and with gratitude, we partake and light and energy and the fruit will be all the sustenance that we need. Until then, it's still perspective. Whatever it is that you think will be. So just try it. Try to change the intentions that when you're eating that candy bar and you think, oh my gosh, I'm going to you know, get a cavity or I'm just going to rot my teeth or I'm going to gain weight. Change that to... Oh, this tastes so good. It's not, no harm's going to come to me because nothing here can hurt you in this illusion. We're at a time of taking back our sovereignty, our inner knowing, the understanding, and our bodies are changing as the DNA activations are coming back online. For many of us, it's been going on, is the refinement period. Everybody calls them different things. Um, but don't get tied up on the labels. If you've got something else that you call it, fine. Go with whatever terminology suits you the best. I call it the refinement period. And then there was an acclimation period. And then the, where I got the understanding. And then now it's putting it into practice. In other words, now I'm to the point where uh, I need to share it with other people because if I can do anything to help anybody else to make their journey or their 
uh, as we're transmuting easier, I'm going to do it. So that was the message. The message that I got for 9, 12, 19, I received it last night in a dream, was fruit trees and how when we eat the fruit from the trees, and it said something about seed bearing trees, that they will, they will not harm the tree. But when we eat vegetables, it's actually the plant is giving its life for us. So to show gratitude, always show gratitude for anything that we partake in. And um, yeah, change the perspective and the intentions and watch your body transform right before your eyes. Done this myself or I wouldn't be able to tell you. I've got some pictures that I, I'm embarrassed to show you guys where I started from and where I'm at now. And it was just a change in perspective of what I was eating, showing gratitude for it, and also realizing that there's nothing here that can harm us. That's how I started with it. But the message that I received last night was miles and miles of fruit trees. We were pulling the fruit and enjoying it there was pomegranate trees there was you'd name it it was available to us and all of the trees were happy to have us partake of the fruit on the trees it brought the tree joy to see us enjoying what it had to offer to us so with that guys Always share what you know and listen so we can grow.